Clean Thunder sooner run without any labor. Are you with me? Yeah, man. Baba day, Baba day, Baba day, let me hear you. Bam bam badam day. Big big fiasco, problems in Roso. King Caressa, boss in Kaiso. I don't really know, but the night of the show, it was pandemonium on the radio. Why the king do that, boy? I smell a rat. I myself, I don't even know where to start. I am in a wele, I am in a uke. Mwe kuma se kute to hear what the partner had to say. Caressa, Caressa. I hope you na go say a swinging stars. Where do you that? Hey, 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 hey. Caressa. Caressa, I hope you now go say, is evil that do you that? Hey, 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 for years I take my blows, so I welcome you in my family, the labor family, now you are in the company, of Peter Frost and Rascally, why, why, why? Baba day, bam bam ba round day, day Give me. I respect Caressa in Kaiso. First round, finals last year. The Caressa almost killed the show. Caressa, Caressa. I hope you now go say a swinging stars. Where do you that? Caressa, Caressa, I hope you now go say it's Bob and Dice that do you that? Hey, 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 think I'm so family, now you are in the company of Peter Frost and Rascally, why, why, why? Baba Day, Baba Day. Ding ding da dang day, bye yeah. Bim bim bam bam ba dang. Everywhere I go, people want to know. Did Caressa forget this guy? So why the man just stop when he was on top? Or did he go away under his props? Did the band for pa was in the minor? No. They say he was here in the monitor. Namla ani kite. He calmly walk away. Hear the last words he say. This is it for the caressa. 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 I hope you now go say a swinging stars. Where do you that? Give me. Hey, 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 hey. Caressa. You now go say, is Piki that do you that? Let me hear. Hey, 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 hey. For years I take my blows. Now I welcome you in my family, the Kanto family. Now you are in the company of Peter Pross and Rascally. Why, why, why? Never wait. Right. Okay, okay. Bam, bam, 
Labor Party. Yeah, man. Labor rights. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Bidim bom bom bom. We vote in labor again. We vote in war. Fight for you. And policies of this Labour Party, those are things I never see. We care for the elderly and for people of this country, those are things I never see. So I'm calling on the people from the least to grant for. Come with me, let us vote back Labour. If you want to see progress, don't give yourself stress. Come with me, we vote in back Labour. We vote in labor again. 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 Labor rights. Five more years! Come on! Yepa! Come on! The housing revolution going on in this nation. Those are things I never see. A university graduate in every home. Those are things I never see. The new hospital powered by Geoformal, the Rosso Promenade and International Airport. All this is testimony of a party who cares. Come with me, let us vote back Labour. Let's go! Labour again. We vote in Labour again. Weather like Clean Thunder, Sun or Red. We vote in Labour again. Labor again, Mama. Ça qui conseille au quand un cheval gros boudin pas que jamais et de ça les aime 60 65 jours à dans l'année chance l'année au cababier gardez où ou pas y en côté ou qu'à courir à l'autre pays pour mais non non pays ou descend gardez où ou qu'à ni blague mais joue à que oui fait l'élection que oui encore pour le web bozo ça ou que fait pour dire les bons we vote in labor again, mama. We vote in labor again. When the earthquake, tsunami, or hurricane, we vote in labor again. We vote in labor again, mama. We 
go to labor again. When I like clean thunder, sun or rain, we go to labor again. We go to labor again, mama. Yeah, man, labor rights. Five more years. We cannot run away from that. Five more years for the Lominica Labor Party. Thank you. Look, Waters! Are you still in the red? If you love the red, I love a party, let me see how it's in the red! Shut! Shut! Hey! 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 Yeah, man! We don't worry about no red! Yeah, man! Hey! Okay, bye. Hey, hey. In the red. If I had a chance to live my life again, without pretending, I would tell you plain. I made a lot of mistakes in this life. I would like to change. Boy. But above the things I got hold dear to me, is being born and bred in this country. For the Lord of praise on earth. Wouldn't do for me. Why? It's not to say that all is rosy here. We have problems and we are poor. But generally speaking, we are an easy going people, free and clean. Sing! Shop! Shop! For you, my dearest, I cannot part. I think of you everywhere I go. I always long to come back, you know. Well, for all the children will forsake you, I would always stand up firm and true. Oh, I am your knight in shining armor. I remain your true ambassador. Sweet Dominica, you know how I care. Your humble servant, I remain. I stand by your side, you. Let me see what I see in here. Chop, 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 chop. Well, la, 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 Okay, boy. Yeah, man. Come here. Sometimes the things I hear does make me want to cry. From the very children, those who have no pride. For instead of helping out, hear them criticize. Boy. But try as I may, I cannot lose my feet. Because Dominica, you're my rightful place. And if I denounce your goodly name, who but me I defend? Why? There are those among us built on destroying, and they must be disciplined. I can't forgive them who are crazy, but not them who are lazy, they bring shame on we. Shut! I hold you very close to me. For you, my dearest, I cannot part. I think of you everywhere I go. I always long to come back, you know. Well, for all the children will forsake you, I would always stand up for my true. Oh, I am your knight in shining armor. I remain the most true powerful inspiration of service is to you watch people care. lift themselves up, to watch your neighbors and friends. Sing! Chop, chop! In the rain, in the rain, in the rain, in the rain, in the rain. Somebody scream! Everybody jumping in the rain going to get two votes election day. <laughs> Are you ready? All the patriotic people, let me hear you scream. 
Yeah, Mr. DJ one time. Pump me up, pump me up. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Yeah, man. Show us a blessing, show us a blessing. Let me see them Dominicans to the boat. Let my party to the boat. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, man. Forty years we celebrate. Want everyone to appreciate. Cause the spotlight is on the nature aisle. So we the masses must pay the right profile. I have seen it in my dreams. We will reign supreme. Uh, the gem of the Caribbean, West Indian Queen. Uh, so tell me what I want to know. How bad do we want to go? And what is imperative? We write on the positive. Come on, show me the seal. Together we turn the wheel. Let's come into labor for real. Let me see our hands in the air. So we promise. All we can be we promise. Oh, yes, we promise. And we promise to vote the Labour Party we promise. Oh, yes, we promise. And we promise to be true leaders, servants and followers Promise to exemplify that in which we prophesy We'll put our faith in Georgia We guarantee to prosper If you believe, then let it show Let me see ya! Somebody scream! Show us a blessing! Let me see the Dominicans to the moon! Labor rights to the moon! The cleanup campaign has begun. Mentally, we will reform. Cause a new day. Demonstrating collective energy. From the voice of just one little girl. Unity on force. Oh. Selfishness was left out in the cold. A sight to behold. Uh, man, this little rising star. Put our country together. Run them blue in harmony. Simply, the formula to progress, we found in the sun contest. Let's prove that labor is the best. Show them the shoe, show it to them, show it to them. So we promise to be all we can be. We promise, oh yes, we promise. And we promise to vote the Labour Party. We promise, oh yes, we promise. And we promise to amalgamate only positive intake. Promise to defend the pride, the land in which we reside. Let's go! Forward! 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 Forward we go! Forward there we go! Put your hands in the air! Na 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 na! Na 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 na! See them Dominicans to the moon. Labor rights to the moon. Oh, 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 oh. The plate of glory lies ahead. 70,000 to be led. Success to be bled from every stone. We devoted Dominicans to the moon. Wear your country's name with pride. Front it worldwide. When the hand of joy is at your side, we can be denied. Uh, so tonight we will celebrate. Let the whole world through the gate. Remember 2008, time to regenerate. Tomorrow we stand as one, put that into action. And let them know labor is number one. Let me see that shoe, let me see that shoe. So we promise to be all we can be. We promise, oh yes. 
And we promise to vote the Labour Party. We promise. Oh, oh yes, we promise. And we promise to be true leaders, servants and followers. Promise to exemplify that in which we prophesy. We we going this way in the rain, in the rain, in the rain, in the rain. One, get ready. Two, get ready. Follow the shoe, follow the shoe, follow the shoe. Forward we go, forward we go, forward we go, forward we go, forward, forward let me go. Back so back, follow the shoe, follow the shoe, follow the shoe, follow the shoe, follow the shoe. Venezuela in the house. Somebody, let me go. Forward, forward we go in the red. In the red. One love. Thank you very much. We don't worry about the rain. We set in still. Woo. Labor. We're moving very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, because you can see that we have a lot of rain. And at this time, to introduce Sister Greta, we bring on Mr. Yeah. Lennox Lawrence, who will introduce Sister Greta to us. Good afternoon, labor rights. Good afternoon, um, the constituents of the Grand Four constituency. I want to say good afternoon also to our Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Garrett to the members of parliament and also to the new candidates and in particular of our own sister Greta. It is my pleasure this afternoon to introduce to you Sister Greta Roberts this afternoon and to tell you as all of us know already that it is going to be better with Greta. Brothers and sisters, Greta Roberts is exactly the person we need in the Parliament of Dominica. Two years after Hurricane David, Sister Greta started her career as a teacher. And two years after Hurricane Maria, she's going to begin her career as a politician and a member of the Parliament of Dominica. We are here this afternoon to send out a clear message to the other side that Sister Greta is a model of hard work and dedication. I want to share with you some of the achievements of Sister Greta and to let you know that what she represents for you is exactly what Dominica represents under our Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt. In 1981, Sister Greta started her career as a teacher. She moved to Roseau in 1982, and from 1984 to 1985, she taught at the Roseau Boys School, and then returned in 2008 as the principal of the Roseau Boys School. Additionally, brothers and sisters, while she was a principal and having a full-time career, she was pursuing her education. And this I am going to highlight to you because it is a lesson for the leader of the opposition that education is important. Brothers and sisters, in 1992, Sister Greta graduated from the, Dom from the Teachers' Training College. And in 2015, she was awarded the bachelor's degree in education. In 2017, she got a master's degree in education. And she did all this while working a full-time job. And this, in my view, is the kind of person who has shown dedication hard work and commitment and that's the person you want to have in the parliament working for you 
In fact, already, Sister Greta is already working for you, even before she has gotten to the parliament. I have seen your roads. I have seen the housing development project in the constituency. I know of the social development assistance that Sister Greta is already spearheading. So what we want to do this election is to ensure that this constituency remains with the Dominica Labour Party. That this constituency is spearheaded by Sister Greta Roberts. So I present to you, brothers and sisters, the only candidate for the Grand Four constituency. I present to you our own Sister Greta Roberts. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. of rain, Grand Four. But let me just tell you, this is a sign of the countless blessings that the Lord is showering upon us today. So do not let the rain deter you. The Lord is just showing us that he is present among us. Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt and Melissa Skerritt, Members of the Dominica Labour Party, ministers of government, well wishers, labor rights, constituents of Grand Four, Monjon, Rivia Siric, TFM, Fuel, good evening. It was the late Dr. Eric Williams former Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, who stated, some men are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. This afternoon, I witnessed that greatness thrust upon me. And I want to say thank you to all of you who made this day possible for me. If I was told less than five years ago that I would be standing on a political platform declaring my candidacy, I would not have given it the time of day. But I guess God has a way of ensuring that what he has destined for us will come to pass. And so, like Jeremiah and Joshua, I have answered the call. Having been born in Grand Form and recognizing the need for leadership in this constituency, I proudly yet humbly announce today that I am, without a doubt, the Labour Party's candidate for the upcoming general elections. I have lived and worked in Grand Form. I began my teaching career there, but as life would have had it, it did not end here, for God had other plans for me plans to prepare me for what was ahead. It is my firm belief that these 35 years of service to this country as a school teacher and principal have laid the foundation for me, having provided me with the experience and enduring fortitude needed for taking up this challenge. 
Politics, in my view, is an extension of teaching. They both call for building relationships with people, for transforming lives, and for bringing about positive change in people and in communities. These I have accomplished as a teacher and principal in the communities where I have worked. And this is what I am prepared to do now for my people in this constituency and at a national level. I am comforted by the saying that teachers make the best politicians. The Honorable Catherine Daniel reminded me of this just a few weeks ago, and I have come to realize that this must be true. For Gertrude Roberts, my mother, who served in this constituency for three consecutive terms, and the Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, our Prime Minister, are prime examples of great teachers doing great service to country. This call for service has spanned many months of reflection and decision making, especially following the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria. We all remember how this Category 5 monster sent Dominica into intensive care. When everyone thought that this country would have succumbed to its injuries, this government rose to the occasion. I still remember the words of our Prime Minister as vividly as if it were yesterday. Four words, four words that captured my heart and gave me hope. We are not daunted. With these words, he stabilized Dominica's blood pressure. He lowered its temperature. And in less than no time, Dominica was out of intensive care and back on its feet again. This, ladies and gentlemen, was another thought-provoking moment for me in deciding to venture into the political arena. Our constituency, like other areas across the island, bore the brunt of Maria's wrath, and we are beginning to rise again. I must commend the government at this time for its rebuilding efforts. We still have concerns and issues that confront us, especially in the area of housing, agriculture, tourism, our water supply, and employment, especially among our young people. I do not wish to delve into these at this moment, but PM, all these and more we have detailed and prepared in what we term a constituency manifesto, and which we will hand over to you at the official handing over ceremony of the houses in Monjon and Rivestri. We hope this will be our way of holding our government accountable for the continued development during our next term of office. Remember I said, our next term of office. At this time, I wish to commend all those of you who have come forward to present your concerns and plans. This is a type of constituency relationship I yearn for, one where our relationships flourish. I can assure you that with the work that has already begun in this constituency and the commitment that has already been shown by this government, our concerns will be addressed. I am not at all daunted. 
I am ready to begin the transformation of this constituency. I accept the leadership challenge and the fulfill the requirements demanded by it. I serve and seek a single purpose, a better Dominica. I consider my entry into the political arena an honorable example of public service to my country. This is my platform, my invitation to make a difference. I am convinced, very convinced, that I am being led by someone who embodies for me strong leadership ability. To be honest with you, Roosevelt Scarrett doesn't need me to praise him. Neither does he need any other candidate to do so. This man has written his own history. And he has written it in red, bold enough for everyone to see. He is a man of distinct qualities, and it is those qualities that have aroused the love and admiration of so many people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, labor rights supporters and friends, Lend me your ears. Give me but one moment as I appeal to my constituents. People of Grand Fon, Monjon, Rivia Sirik, Fuel, and Tefem. Tonight you must see me for who I am, a daughter of the soil who is determined to put everything aside to begin transformation of this constituency. Growing up in the constituency, we have always boasted that the wise men came from the East. But honestly, we have not always lived up to this belief. Let us be wise in our decision making let us be wise in our actions. Let us aspire to be a constituency where development is evident, where students excel at school, prepared to live as global citizens, where our community is self-sufficient and where community spirit is the order of the day. I am beginning to see the city evolving, improving access to our roads, to our village remains one of our greatest accomplishments. I am the change that this constituency needs and you have already begun to witness that change and this is just the beginning. I reach out to each and every one of you in Monjon, Rivia Sirik, Fuel, Tefem, and Grand Form. I am seeking your support. I need you to join me in this effort. Let us work together in a campaign that is free from violence, free from personality attacks and defamation of character. As a God-fearing person, I want to win this election in a dignified manner, not only out of respect for my mom, who has served this constituency with pride and dignity, but as a tribute to my country. This is our call to action. We have an election to win. Let us join forces for the good of our constituency and I promise you, we can all help to make it better with Greta. I thank you.
Gentlemen, when we told you that we are bringing to you the best candidates, you can see it this afternoon in Greta Roberts for Grand Four. What a phenomenal woman. Truly a phenomenal woman. Labor! Labor rights? Labor rights? Are you ready? Are you ready? But just before we call on our next speaker, we have another missing key, a key for a vehicle, a Mitsubishi key, so you can check hairs run, you can check hairs run, hairs run, you can check hairs run at the, at the backstage for the key. But my friends, we can see the weather, and at this time, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you the political leader, our prime minister, our political leader. The Honorable, the Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Scary! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We thank the Lord for the rain. In all things, give thanks. I want in a special way to recognize our candidate for the Mon John Riversary Grafa constituency, Miss Greta Roberts. And I stood there listening. And I said, look, I have a great difficulty to follow and to speak after Greta Roberts. What a well-presented speech. Very articulate and very, very, very profound. I want to recognize my other colleagues who are here, the Deputy Prime Minister and all my cabinet colleagues and my fellow candidates. I also want to recognize the Honorable Ivor Stevenson, our PAL rep, and his wife. And I see His Excellency Matthew Walter. I have been told by many that Matthew is the best ambassador in Cuba, working very hard for Dominica. I also want to recognize my friend, my colleague, our campaign manager, His Excellency Vince Henderson. And all of you here who came in in the thousands to signal to the country your commitment to Dominica and your commitment to the Dominica Labour Party. I say thank you, Dominica, for the very warm and enthusiastic welcome and reception you have accorded my party and I this super Sunday evening. It is good to be in Bretter's Greta Roberts Avenue, Greta Roberts Community, Greta Roberts Constituency, and I hereby declare this the Republic of Greta Roberts. Comrades and friends, 
This is not the beginning of the general elections campaign. This event, this evening, constitutes the acceleration of a program started 18 months ago and which, by necessity, must continue for the next eight years at least. I sometimes get the impression that people have forgotten what this mission is all about. We awoke on the morning of September 19, 2017 to a country of virtual ruin. Many asserted back then that a rescue exercise was not probable, if at all possible. Many left these shores both by circumstance and as a consequence of having no faith in our ability to recover and rebuild. We set out then to reconstruct this land, not asking of any inhabitant more than that which they could bear. We did not rush to action. We were deliberate and calculated because we wanted to build back better. We wanted to create a climate resilient environment, a climate resilient nation. Today, 18 months later, I am happy to report to the nation that Operation Rescue and Upgrade is well on the way. This forthcoming general election is therefore not about the re-election of Roosevelt Skerritt and the Dominican Labour Party. It is not about trying the United Workers Party or about giving Lennox Linton a chance. This upcoming election is about first and foremost giving Dominica its very best shot and chance at success. We have a country to rebuild, ladies and gentlemen. And on general elections day, you will be called upon to select a main contractor. We have seen both personally and in relation to work done on the homes of several of our neighbors, the enormous cost and consequence of bad workmanship. In the last 18 months, we have seen situations where very exciting and promising projects were derailed as a consequence of bad attitudes and approaches on the part of some contractors and construction firms. Many of us received our insurance funds and we entrusted the repair and reconstruction of our homes to contractors. Over the last 18 months, we have learned which contractors can be trusted to deliver a quality product and those who are dishonest. Your task in the coming weeks and months will be to select and elect a construction firm to further the rehabilitation and reconstruction of Dominica. We need, therefore, to separate the froth from the bear. Distinguish the doers from the talkers. Dominica has succeeded in the last 18 months to rebuild and restore the foundation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the foundation is all that we have built in the last 18 months. We are, not, we are now starting on the side walls. We are now running the ducts and cables. It is intricate work, but it has to be done carefully and completely. Otherwise, down the road, we will encounter problems. This is the point at which the electrician and the plumber are doing very delicate work. There may not be a lot to see and take selfies against, but it is painstaking work that must be done if we hope to have a reliable home to live in down the road. We are running the gas lines, ladies and gentlemen. We are pulling the con conduit and laying the pipes so that when you flick the switch or turn the tap, three years from now, you will get a reliable outcome. This evening, ladies and gentlemen, 
You saw a glimpse of the reconstituted Dominican Labour Party construction firm. You saw at the beginning of the program veteran builders in Calvert Daru, Dr. John Colin McIntyre and Johnson Drago. Their faces may not be on the slate next time around, but their knowledge and experience and expertise shall be utilized by this Dominican Labour Party and this beautiful country of ours for a long, long time to come. They are and will continue to be integral parts of the reconstruction process. Then in the belly of the program, comrades and friends, we got the promise of continuity from Ian Douglas and Reginald Austrie. They too shall be around to help transfer knowledge and expertise. They have the experience and the know-how. They have built a country before and they are committed to taking this present project to Rimbim stage before stepping back and allowing the roof experts to take over. This evening, we salute Reginald Austri and Ian Douglas. We salute also Peter St. Jean, Justin Charles, Ambrose George, Ian Pinard, Dr. Kenneth Daru, Cassius Daru, Brothers Kelly and Ashton Grano, Julius Timothy, Alvin Bernard, Gloria Schillingford, Ophelia Benjamin, Dr. Martin Christmas, and all others who ran the race and finished the course with pride and honor. I want you to take note of the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that none of them has been shunted aside or left to suffer. We have taken care of those who have served and we shall continue to do so in the years to come. We are not throwing anyone away or overboard. We are renewing ourselves for the tasks and challenges that lay ahead. By the same token, you must ask yourselves, how could a team that was not good enough for the 90s not good enough for the first decade of the 21st century, not good enough for the second decade of the 21st century, be the solution to Dominica's challenges in the post-Hurricane Maria era. If Lennox Linton was not suited or suitable to lead Dominica five years ago, or even 10 years ago, when the country was motoring along on the strength of a distinguished record of achievement by this Labour Party administration, how can the same Lennox Linton be relevant to Dominica tomorrow in its most challenging and demanding phase of development? That is the million dollar question, ladies and gentlemen. Persons are walking around saying they only know of Labour in office. Some are saying they will not vote. Do they understand the carnage they would be doing to this country by placing it in the hands of a driver who cannot drive? Do they know and understand the consequences of driving a vehicle over the edge? Dominicans, I am declaring this evening, Dominica, I am declaring this evening, could not survive two years of Lennox Linton, far less five. If you think, if you think Hurricane Muriel was bad, make the mistake and put this country in the path of Hurricane Linton and you will all see what hopelessness and despair are all about. I am going on record tonight as insisting that Dominica would not survive 18 months of Lennox Linton simply because Lennox Linton does not know and he does not know that he does not know the first thing about running anything but his mouth. <laughs> Lennox Linton has, done, has not done a six weeks course since entering elective politics five years ago. If he has not qualified, if he was not qualified to lead Dominica five years ago, what would qualify him for leadership of Dominica today? Are we lowering the bar? 
Are we dropping standards in this country just to accommodate Lennox Linton? Do Dominicans understand what happened to this country on September 18, 2017? Do they seriously understand the depths from which we had been pulled and the long hard road we still have to travel? Far from preparing himself for the mantle of leadership, Lennox Linton has taken the backward step over the past five years of making some monumental errors of judgment. Do you recall that CBS interview? Do you recall those famous lines taken from the speech of Alan Shastney? Did you see him at the OAS and other, the, other, the other day speaking ill of Dominica and depicting us as a fifth world nation? Do you hear any Democrats in America speaking ill of the United States? Are you aware of any Democrat in the US going to Russia, Korea, or China decrying America or even its president? Have you seen any of them sending conflicting messages read a crisis in Venezuela? Lennox Clinton is the only wannabe leader in the world who believes that to reach to the top, you must tear down and destroy our country, Dominica. All other wannabe leaders climb to the top. Lennox Linton prefers to drag his country to the ground in order to get on top of it. Where there is no vision, ladies and gentlemen, the people perish. Lennox Linton and the United Workers Party find themselves tonight on the wrong side of modern political history. They spent the better part of the last 20 years supporting Taiwan over China. They are currently supporting the Polisario in preference to the authorities in the Kingdom of Morocco. They are sending mixed and confusing signals with respect to ongoing developments in Venezuela and their relations with CARICOM and members of the OECS are all but non-existent. Lennox Linton and the United Workers Party do not have a country in CARICOM to call friend. Was something to happen to Dominica three months into the assuming office? This man has been leader of the position in Dominica for more than five years and not a single fledgling political party in the entire Caribbean has ever invited him to attend, far less to address a constituency association gathering, far less the annual conference. What does that say to you, ladies and gentlemen, about Mr. Linton? Those of you, those of you who say you are not voting, you are not going to vote, should consider these things. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, Consider her ways and be wise. Be wise. But this evening, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the retiring generals and to the returning veterans, you also saw and heard from the new armor of the Dominican Labor Party. This 2019, this is 2019, ladies and gentlemen, and you heard from Octavia, teacher Bonnie Alfred, a woman who has made the shaping of lives her lifelong duty and ambition. You heard from Dr. Addis King, a young doctor who is motivated to serve and to give back to a country and community that has given her so much. These are fresh, new, competent individuals who will take over the heavy lifting from those who will recede into more advisory capacities. Teacher Bonnie and Dr. King spoke with the sincerity, depth, and determination that one would expect from a school principal and a medical doctor, respectively. We have trusted them for years with the development of our children and with our health. Now is the time to repose in them responsibility for our social economic and political advancement. 
They are but examples of the fine array of new patriots the Dominican Labour Party will be bringing your way in the weeks and months ahead. We have not selected an old team. We have composed a purpose-built team, a team for the times. These are perilous times, ladies and gentlemen, and labor has the perfect team for these perilous times. We each go to sleep at night, hopeful of a brighter tomorrow. I declare this evening that with this newly constructed team of labor candidates, the future of Dominica is bright. Our country will be in good hands, ladies and gentlemen. And then, ladies and gentlemen, there was the formal and official passing of the baton here in the constituency of Monjon Rivisirik. We heard first from Solomon Pascal, a veteran standard bearer for the Labour Party in this constituency. We were also delighted to see and to honor our retiring general, Honorable Ivor Stevenson. Honorable Ivor Stevenson. God is good, ladies and gentlemen. God is indeed good. I, I shed a tear in bewilderment this evening when I saw Comrade Ivor Stevenson today and reflected on him several months ago lying motionless in bed in that hospital in Martinique. Many thought and feared the worst, but Almighty God took matters in his hand. And tonight, Ivor Stevenson walked onto this platform to dutifully pass the baton of leadership to his successor. We serve a mighty God, ladies and gentlemen. We do serve a loving and generous God. I wish tonight, I wish tonight to publicly salute Ivor Stevenson and to thank him for his human service to the communities of Monjon, Rivestric constituency. I wish to say publicly tonight that this Dominican Labour Party administration and Roosevelt Skerritt as its leader did not turn its back on Comrade Ivor Stevenson in the past and we will do no such thing in the future. Labour will continue to take good care of its own, ladies and gentlemen, and Comrade Ivor Stevenson has made way in the forthcoming election to a daughter of this constituency, a daughter literally and metaphorically. Greta Roberts is to this community what Roosevelt Skerritt is to the village of Vekas. All that I am, I owe to the Vekas constituency. All that Greta Roberts is, she owes it to the Monjon River Civic constituency and to its lovely people. She is a daughter of these communities because she was born and grew up in the service of these communities. Her dear mother, whom I have the greatest respect for, the revered Gertrude Roberts, has an unparalleled record of service to this constituency. The other party will come and they will curse, but they cannot remove the unblemished record of service of the Roberts family to this constituency, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot deny that they did everything in their power to get Greta Roberts to run for them. They cannot deny that they lobbied Gertrude Roberts to persuade her daughter to run for them. They cannot deny that they too Consider Greta Roberts to be the ideal person to lead the Monjon Rivestric Grafa constituency at this time. The, the other side should do the honorable thing and concede defeat in this constituency from now. They should focus their efforts and energies on the other 20 constituencies because Labour and Greta are winning this constituency, ladies and gentlemen. And I will say tonight, it is easier for them to defeat Roosevelt's carrot in a vacant constituency than it is for them to defeat
Gretchen Roberts in her hometown, the village of Grandfour, and by extension, the constituency of Monjon, previous week. She is a formidable candidate, a formidable community person. Comrades and friends, Greta Roberts is not running solely on the record of her dear mother. Greta has an established career and a legacy of service to her fellow men and fellow women. She has been an educator par excellence. When it comes to children, she has the meanest touch. Hers is the warmest soul that I know, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is associated with meaningful transformation and sound management. Whatever she has touched and wherever she has served, Greta has excelled in performance. Her students are the first to testify to this. As a matter of fact, whenever there was a problem in a school in Dominica, who did the Ministry of Education look to? They looked to Greta Roberts to go in to fix the problem. Her colleagues in the teaching fraternity attest to her leadership skills. Greta Roberts is a 21st century leader, ladies and gentlemen. I have two young children and I love them dearly. I will be comfortable tomorrow placing their care and nurture in the hands of Greta Roberts. I want the people of this beautiful and illustrious constituency to do the same. Place the care and nurturing of your children in the hands of Greta Roberts. Put your care in the hands of Greta Roberts and all, all will be well, ladies and gentlemen. My fellow Dominicans, this is the beginning of a process. As I said from the outset, this is not a campaign purely to re-elect the Dominican Labour Party or to reject the United Workers Party. This is a campaign to accelerate the rebuilding and rebranding of our country. The next five years are crucial to that rebuilding exercise. We all looked around Dominica each day and wished for more. We want what we think we deserve, but so too does Dominica. Dominica deserves the strongest possible leadership at this time. And what, you may ask, constitutes desirable leadership? It is the ability to take hard, informed decisions when the going gets tough, ladies and gentlemen. When we aligned ourselves to China 15 years ago, we were criticized by the United Workers' Party. They opted short-sightedly and selfishly to continue to support Taiwan. 15 years later, Lennox Linton is now saying that the move to China was a good one. But he is not saying that from conviction, ladies and gentlemen. He is saying that because Taiwan money that they used to fly to St. Kitts for has finished, ladies and gentlemen. There is no more Taiwan money in St. Kitts. So now he's saying he supports China. Today, they're doing the same thing with the Polisario. They refuse to acknowledge the sovereignty of the Kingdom of Morocco and are throwing their support behind a group of individuals who have no weight or presence in international law and relations. They are meddling with developments in Venezuela. They are playing the center against the two ends. Nobody will trust you as a party and as a government if you do not stand for something, ladies and gentlemen. The United Workers Party has undermined this country's citizenship by investment program. It insists that only one company, Henley and Partners, is qualified to conduct a CBI program for and in Dominica. All these years, many other com companies and agencies have stuck painstakingly to the sustenance and development of the Dominica brand. But today, Lennox Linton and the United Workers Party have agreed to a program of exclusivity with a company that has a less than stellar record of achievement and success in sister Caribbean countries. 
today, Dominica today has the most successful CBI program in the region. Yet, the other side intends to dismantle our program and ransack the economy of Dominica merely to honor campaign financing commitments made to one single company. We are talking in Dominica, ladies and gentlemen, about rebuilding this country as painlessly as possible for citizens. We have set down the foundation over the past 18 months without having to ask a single dollar of the Dominican worker. Yes, I know you have made sacrifices. And yes, I know you have gone without a lot. But no worker in Dominica has been asked to make the ultimate sacrifice. No public service worker in Dominica has been put on the bread line. No worker has been given a reduced work week. No worker has been denied a wage or a salary by this government, ladies and gentlemen. While we are rebuilding our country and recasting the economy, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you this evening, where would the, the immediate financing of the United Workers Party come from? The Labour Party, on the other hand, is sound in its policies. We are in the process of restructuring our economy. Our plans are solid and well financed. Agriculture in our next term of office will not be as it was before. I have already signaled my intention to introduce on a large scale basis hydroponics and other greenhouse technologies. I have signaled my intention to resuscitate commercial fish farming in Dominica. This is not Dry talk, ladies and gentlemen. Agreements have already been signed with a sovereign government and they are ready to send experts here to assist us. But like all others, they will do nothing until the outcome of this next election is determined. Few entities I know will do business with a Lennox Linton led administration. They do not know the man and they do not trust the man. I cannot and will not speak for the governments of China, France, Cuba, Morocco, or Venezuela, ladies and gentlemen. But you assess for yourself the seeming foot dragging on major projects. I have not asked any questions, and nobody has said anything to me. But I am not a fool. I can decipher energy from lethargy. And I am sensing that the entire world is waiting on Dominicans for a cue as to whether they should maintain or reevaluate re their continued friendship and generosity to our country, Dominica. Do not make the mistake of assuming that Roosevelt's carrots friends will automatically be Lennox Linton's friends. That's not the way of the world in today's diplomacy, my dear brothers and sisters. When the United Workers Party comes to your doors and on their platforms and on their radio programs, ladies and gentlemen, tell them you do not wish to hear about Roosevelt's carriage and the Dominican Labour Party. Tell them you want to hear what new projects and investments they will bring to this country. Tell them you want to hear about whom they will be aligned to and from where they will get the hundreds of millions of dollars needed to rebuild this country. We do not want to hear that they will maintain what they found. We want to know what and who they are bringing. We want to know who will finance what, ladies and gentlemen. This Labour Party is about to start earth moving on a new state of the art cargo and cruise berthing facility. It will cost the workers of Dominica one, not one cent, ladies and gentlemen, in upfront cost. We are about to install 3,000 wind and solar propelled street lights across the country. You have not heard me ask for a single cent in additional taxes to finance this initiative. We are continuing a pace to build new houses for Dominicans. We are fixing roads and soon 
three brand new concrete mixing and paving trucks will arrive. We are not leaning on taxpayers for anything. I want to know this evening, how would a United Workers Party government do such? I want to know with whom they will form alliances. It is not enough to tell me you will maintain relations with China. Progress in today's world is not built on diplomatic relations. It is built on friendships, my dear brothers and sisters. Lennox Linton, you are no friend of China. You are no friend of Morocco. You are no friend of Venezuela or Cuba. And you are also no friend of Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago or Jamaica. I want to know and Dominicans want to know who your new friends will be. So ladies and gentlemen, this lunch this evening is very significant as well as symbolic. It ushers in a new era of parliamentary representation. It signals to the country the changes that are likely to come with respect to our mode of representation at the community level. Greater emphasis will be placed on community work by PALREPs. While they will continue to have ministerial responsibilities, adequate time and resources will be set aside for nurturing of communities. We will continue to assist families with the recovery efforts. Lennox Linton and the United Workers Party have said rapid response will be no more. They will discontinue the national employment program that provides work and daily bread for thousands in this country. They have criticized what they call the Red Clinic. They have said the doors to the office of the Prime Minister will be slammed shut in the faces of Dominicans. The choice in these upcoming elections, ladies and gentlemen, is very clear. We will either build on foundations laid over the past 18 months or we will take a retrograde step and set this country back 20 years. This is no lucky dip. You cannot miss the top prize and settle for a consolation. The consequences are extreme. We either go forward with labor or go backwards with workers. We, we are in touch and in tune with this country, ladies and gentlemen. We understand the issues at the national level and our ears are also locked on at the community level. This is why when Greta, Rob Greta Roberts spoke earlier, I smiled because most of what she has undertaken to fight to bring about is already in train. I am committed to implementation of a vast amount of programs Greta has outlined in a vision statement for the constituency. She has spoken about the main roads, but I am here to tell you this evening that we are almost about to launch a major road rehabilitation drive that will see massive upgrades to feeder roads in this and adjoining constituencies. The multi-purpose cement trucks I referenced earlier will provide for the speedy dispatch of concrete to communities. We are hoping to devise a structure in which community groups and guys on the blocks will make a project out of patching and repairing feeder roads in the respective communities, utilizing aggregate and concrete provided by the government. Details of this particular program will be forthcoming in the weeks ahead. Plans are also afoot for a massive island-wide electrification program. 3,000 lights have been ordered and should be arriving in Dominica the first week of June. These will be efficiently installed. And the unique thing about these particular lights is that they will be wind and solar energy propelled. So no more stealing of batteries, ladies and gentlemen. This national electrification program will commence in the east of the island, touching every community east, south, and southeast of Poncasse. So ladies and gentlemen, I am here to assure the east tonight that labor has delivered 
and will continue to deliver for the Eastern District. With Kent in Lapland, Greta in Grafon, Teacher Bonnie in Cassibrus, and Cozier Frederick in Salibir, I am confident that the East shall have formidable representation in the new parliament and the new cabinet of this country. And that the vision of these new candidates shall be realized in short order. I want to say to voters of Monjon River Surrey constituency that this Dominican Labour Party has your back. We thank you for your support of Ivor Stevenson in the last two elections. And we look forward to your continued support this time around for Greta Roberts. I want each of you to leave this meeting tonight and turn away from this broadcast on radio, Facebook, and YouTube, determined to play a part in securing a victory for labor in this constituency. We need your support, but we also want you to canvas your family and friends, canvas your neighbors, and canvas your work and church colleagues. We need to join forces and promote the cause of labor in the highways and byways of Dominica. The propaganda of the other side will be tremendous. They cannot fight us on our record of accomplishment, so they will fight us in the gutter. I expect them to resort to all kinds of skullduggery. They will hack emails, tap into Facebook and WhatsApp accounts, and create all kinds of mischief to confuse voters. I want you to resist and to resent this type of behavior. Challenge them to tackle labor on the issues. Challenge them to come debate their vision for this country with us. Challenge them to be constructive in their criticisms and to advance sensible alternatives. Tell them to say where the money will come from to finance all that they will promise. This upcoming election, ladies and gentlemen, is about building on the foundation that has been laid since Hurricane Maria. You are the tenders committee. You will be charged with awarding the contracts. In the Monjon and Riversary constituency, I want you to award the contract to Greta Roberts. In the wider Dominica, I want you to recruit the candidates of the Dominica Labour Party. These upcoming elections are too important for grudge and malice. Labor has earned another term. I call on each of you this evening to support the labor candidates in your respective constituency. And together, let us work to take Dominica forward. Thank you very much for coming out. Drive carefully and safely on the roads. Get home safely, and we look forward to reigniting this flame two weeks from now, two weeks from today, in the Rosa South constituency. So Rosa South, we are coming to you in two weeks' time to launch another winning candidate in the person of Shakira Lockhart Hippolyte, ladies and gentlemen. Let us always maintain our peace and love. Labor is about love. Labor is about peace, ladies and gentlemen. When you see trouble, run away. We are a party of love, a party of peace. And we are on a mission to ensure that we keep labor in power to give Dominica a chance of success going forward. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. God bless our country. God bless the Commonwealth of Dominica. God bless your families. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
the most powerful inspiration of service is to watch people lift themselves up, to watch your neighbors and friends transform their lives. In my years of service as a teacher and community activist, being able to help people reach for something greater has given me the most satisfaction. And that is what is motivating me to go into a new level of service, political representation. For me, this is a continuation of a lifelong of service, fighting for the people of Grandfour, Monjon, and Riviera Siric. I am inspired as much by my mother's history of service as with the opportunities that are ahead for the next generation. As we watch our community being transformed before our very eyes, we have a historic opportunity to write the next chapter together. <laughs>